All right, so now we're going to understand resolution and how it plays with uh, painting or brushing in Photoshop. So, you know, you're going to come over from the design class and you're going to have some graphic of some sort and you're going to probably be uh, wanting to vectorize it. And if not, well, that's your assignment is to vectorize it. But first is um, just a crash course on how to do that. And then you can apply that to what you have. So let's just do something simple. Let's make a new document. And let's make something that is, oh, let's say U.S. paper. And let's go to letter, 8.5 by 11. Your, your scanned in image, no doubt, would probably be 300 dots per inch. So I'm going to go around that way. Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do is just doodle. And I want to doodle with several different kind of brushes. And you're going to have to learn the difference between the brushes. Okay, so we have hard brushes. Uh, we got the 19, which is a hard brush. And let's grab the 19. And let's just kind of do some chicken scratch. Do, 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 do. Make some coily cues. Put my name out here. Alright, so there's with a the hard brush. And now we're going to do it with a soft brush. Let's grab the same. Here's a 21 of that brush. And here's the bracket keys actually make it a little bit bigger. And I'll doodle with it just for a minute. And you have to make that drew noise. I don't know what it is. Whenever you draw, it's either going on in your head, face it. And I'll sign my name. Okay, so not being an artist at all, just kicking back, relaxing. All right, so there we go. Now, if I zoom in on this, you'll see one thing. What happens is the edges look horrible okay because these are raster graphics now if I look at this one it's just absolutely horrible alright so let's employ um, Adobe Illustrator for a second let's just go save as always save as a PSD Okay, so I labeled that raster to vector, and now I'm going to go over to Illustrator and go open that. Now you want to open it. You don't want to place it, you want to open it. Okay, there we go. Now, if I click on it and just go to Live Trace by default, it says this may take a while. It's because it's 300 dots per inch. Now what I've found is lots of tricks involved in making like things 72 dots per inch and scan them in. But I'll go into that later. I don't want to get too confusing. There is a lot of different ways to use Live Trace. But for right now, just know that no matter how far I zoom in on this now vectorized image, it will always stay sharp and true. And even the one that's all, you know, it was back in Photoshop, now it has that laser edge. The difference being, this one was pretty straightforward and captured all my strokes, but this one did a nice job of making a variance. So some of these strokes got very uh, evened out because of the fact that I used a blurry brush. You're going to find that a lot. You're going to find methods that are just outside the box for live trace. But I highly suggest sometimes using a soft brush because you get this nice variance that occurs on your brush strokes. That variance is everything when it comes to line quality. And line quality makes very interesting drawings. Alright, so that's what I want you to do now is back out, go back to Photoshop and produce an actual, you know, raster image and do something other than doodle, you know, draw something. Um, and you can bring something from the internet or what, you know, into there to kind of like doodle out. 
but we'll we'll come up with something because I know not every student in the class are artists. So don't don't feel that you have to be Picasso. Just just do something that was it's very interesting. Do squiggles or whatever. But I want that raster gra or the vector graphic um, turned in to me on your student folder. Okay. All right. So on to the next lesson.